Hey everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode we started exploring some of Hebra and we freed the Nadra. And in this episode we're going to go ahead and uh, start on the Trial of the Cliff which is, is North Lomayer Labyrinth. And if you recall we did do Lomayer Labyrinth Island. Uh, but this time we're going to do uh, the north one, and there's also one to the south, which is in the, uh, which is right here. So we're going to do that one last. I think this is the smallest of the three um, labyrinths in this game. Now, the thing to mention about this labyrinth is there are there's calamity all over the place, so you have to traverse this semi carefully. Um, of course, with all of these labyrinths you can cheese it pretty easily uh, by just going over the thing went over the wall oh, I'm not gonna do that what's the fun in that um but yeah this is I would consider this like medium difficulty labyrinth um and Lome and the island the north one is this one's the north one and bleh. anyway this is medium difficulty. The island is uh, um, high difficulty, and the other one is low difficulty. Easy, easy, normal, and hard. That's what I'm thinking of. All right, we got that. I didn't even I didn't even realize what that was. It was probably arrows because I could pick it up. Um, anyway, yeah, the basic principle of this is. Just find the gear, like the last one. Um, yeah, this one isn't as intense as I've said before. Is I just have nothing to say. That's what I'm. That's what I'm getting at. Is this try to be real professional here? But whatever, whatever. Ooh, I'm already here. Ooh, I can see him too. Oh, let's use you. Hello. Goodies here. Nothing in there. Like this makes me this makes me think that somebody was like trapped there or something. Well, that's pretty sad. If you think about it. By the way, some neat shields around here. Oh, we already got the hunter shield picture. Um. Also a rod. Bunch of arrows. Because the that guy's doing target practice. Hello. And he alerts all his friends. Pincer attack. Add flames to the fire. Alright, yeah. Anyway, these guys aren't too tough. They do have some pretty good gear, actually. Um, nice trial is all boomerang. Oh my gosh. I didn't even cook anything. I meant to do stuff in, in between episodes. This never did. All right. It's not like we have a short of a shortage of like apples or anything. Right. And it broke. Right. 
Eh, let's go ahead and grab this. Why don't we? Ooh, what did you do out? Got him. Ooh, drop a lot of topaz. Um, let's see what we get. We drop. We can drop this. I can use it. Did he have an? He just had a normal boomerang. Weak. Uh, the main thing about this labyrinth is, ooh, it sells all spear. Nice. Um, I was looking at like, obviously I looked at a walkthrough to mark the um, chests before the episode, but I was looking at they they said that each one had guardians in it. And I haven't seen any guardians yet. I don't remember there being any guardians in this one either. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. It's like, there's two more things to get in this area. Is this... Did it just have the chest, or did it... I don't even know. I don't even know, I don't care. He's a bunch of calamity. Clogging up the works. Um. Yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll keep going. I only spent like six minutes in here, so I think we can afford to do a little bit longer. Yeah, but like this, this, um, this labyrinth's rewards isn't, aren't nearly, what do you mean? Dude. Dude. Oh, that's just a, oops. Ow, I meant to slice, not. Way to, way to be good, bro. Anyway. I mean, like, wow. Wow. Um, eh, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, that's the nice thing about Rivali's Gale, is it gets you nearly to the top. Almost to the top. Um, we're just gonna do this. Is there only a chest down there? Yeah, I see it. Ah, that's how you get this. You shoot that guy. And then it gets rid of all this calamity. Yep. And it lags the game a little bit. We're gonna go all the way back up to the top. And I'm pretty sure the yeah, the last one's right here. Ooh, diamond. Nice. Alright. I know, I... Like, these labyrinths aren't that big a deal. I really should have, like, just... Gone straight. Low weight. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. I didn't see it. Oh, wait. <gasps> no, I'm trapped! Oh, no! Alright, well, we'll figure it out. Oh, I was crouching. We Oh crap. Alrighty. Um it's one of these. Not that one. Well, maybe that one. Let's go down here. So I think it is actually here. Well, that is a gap. That's a clear gap. That's a clear way.
Ah, oh, we did. Oh, well. Well, that's the way to beat it. What's over here? this was about. I, th I think this was like a trap. Like a, oh, you thought you found the way out? Oh, no. It was just chest. This wasn't on the thing either. A useless piece of garbage. Thanks, IGN. Let's get rid of that one. It doesn't have any attributes to it. I guess the idea was you were supposed to see it from here. I don't know. Or maybe they didn't mark the one on the roof. Anyway. Anyway you slice it, we're done. Wee Boop. It couldn't be easier. Alright. Let's finish off this. Try on the clip done. This should be a blessing. No promises, though. Oh. Did that happen? Piece of the paint on my Joy-Con track. Um, peeled off. Now it looks, it looked like there was like, a piece of something on it. Where the arrow is. Ooh, Barbarian Lake Wraps. Nice. Nice. I can unleash my inner barbarian. Come on. I wanted to get to the video already. Let's skip the ad. Alright. Um, wow, we have a lot of rupees. I am pleasantly surprised. We have so many rupees. Alrighty. Well, there you go. What more could you ask for? Besides a better thing to do. Not a better thing to do, but you know what I meant. Uh, okay. Um... Let's head on over to. Oh, we want to go to Terrytown, so we gotta go there. Hmm. Yeah, we still got a lot of side stuff to do, but. Other than that, we're pretty golden. Golden, golden. Golden grams. Mmm. Golden grams. Pretty, pretty good. I think in between this episode and next episode, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't tag all the shrines that we have to do. Um, because I seriously don't know where all, where all of them are. I know where a lot of them are, I just don't know where all of them are. That's probably what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, in between the next episode and this episode. We'll see. Anyway, come back over here to Terrytown. Hello. Hey, 20 bundles of wood, I brought them. Sure. So next is. Uh, someone who's got a gift for tailoring. Uh, someone among the Drudo would do that. So. Somebody ends in sun. So, we gotta go get a Gerudo for, um, Hudson. That's his name. Oof. Oh, it just went out. Never mind then. I was gonna say, the temptation to cook is there. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to head over to the Kara Kara Bazaar. Oops. So we're gonna go to the Wasteland Tower. Which is on Spectacle Rock. 
They should have called it Spectacle Tower. Is that just me or... No? Because I guess technically it's the Wasteland area. Or like the Gerudo Tower. Is this the Gerudo Desert? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This, yeah. Eh. Whatever. Anyway. So, yeah, that's basically what we want to do is go straight to the Kara Kara Bazaar. Oh, Bazaar. Which is this way. Thank you. Thank you for the push, Mr. Wind. I really should have put a waypoint there. I meant to... Not not the waypoint, a travel medallion there. I meant to, but... It just didn't... Didn't come to be... Didn't come to pass. Compass. Hmm. Trying to think of what I should do first. Well, I can't. I can't do that first. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, we still got to go back to the um, back to the Rito to do their side quests. Hmm. And drop. Splish. Kaboom. Splish. So, go over here to this girl sitting underneath the, um, uh, tent. Arnie? Arnie. Uh, Rodson. Zalak. Who are you? I'm a bow, yes. Hmm. No. I bet Mama would, uh, have a problem with delicate. I'm not delicate! I'm. You wanna see. Wanna know how I got these scars? From Ganon. Um. Why the rush? Oh, really? That's incredible real for a male to be born in the Drudo. For on survival as a people, we must find... We must... We travel to find husbands. I've proven myself to be a gift tailor, but not a bow. Uh, well, in garment. So I'm in my craft. Help me find a mate. It's like, what happens? Like, when we get to... Go to Terrytown. When we get inside a Drudo, uh, place, there are children... Uh, Gerudo, which are quote unquote pure blooded Gerudo. So, how I don't understand this. Like, are their genes just so tailored that when one of them has a child, is always a female and it's always a pure blooded Gerudo? Because, like, by that logic, in like in like 30 some odd years, or like 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 a few decades they would all be not Gerudo anymore y'all want y'all know what I'm saying like by the way this is where the eighth heroine is right here um but by the very definition of their rules they have to not be pure-blooded Gerudo so what it is to be a Gerudo is clouded. That doesn't make it doesn't make any sense. Why, like, if they had the last male Gerudo, to my knowledge, was Ganondorf, and he, he's become calamity right now. So, I don't know. It's it's weird. It's awkward. It's it's, it's really weird. Really, really weird. doesn't make any sense 
It really doesn't. And yes, I know I'm still rocking the snow pool gear. Oh look, another building. Anyway, so if we go back over to Hudson. Oh, wait, there's some water. Oh, that still hurt me? Oh, it's not deep enough. I thought it was deep enough. Whoops. Anyway. It was Hudson, I have no objections. Let me see how it's Next is. 30 bundles of wood. Sure can, bro. Sure. Next is, yes. Let's have a look at town around here. Exactly what I need. General store set up. There's no qualifications. Run general store. Yeah, Rito. Bolson is in and some. Alright. Uh, wow, look at our map. Like, we have so many. So many shrines. Dang. So, now we just gotta go over to Rito. We already talked to a guy named Sun, um, in the Rito. Come on, hurry up. <sighs> and he he was he was sitting on that flight deck, um. Right outside the general store, pretty much. It was like, oh, I hope to have my own general store so I don't have to live with my mom all the time. Um, where did you go? Ah, oh, let's talk to you. Keel, where are you? Can't find Keel anywhere. Where should be? Maybe she went to the Warbler's Nest for her scenic. That's so far away, cause she made it on her own. Find Keel. Um, uh, yeah, I think, I think we're gonna do that side quest next time around. Um. And if we talk to this guy with the lag. Yeah. Hey, what's up? I'm glad Meadow settled down. I'm sure you want to take out the family store one day. Can you believe that? I don't want to just help. I want my own store. Uh, head over to Terrytown. Tell me more. Well, it's a town in Akala. Color region, that's pretty far out there. I guess I have to leave the nest someday. Ha! He's a bird. And leaving the nest. Hey, it made up my mind. I'm going. Terry Town. One thing I wondered about the Rito. Do they get haircuts? Or do their feathers just grow to a certain amount? Like a certain place. Why didn't he fly, by the way? Why didn't he fly? He should have just taken off and flew. Um, fly like an eagle. Anyway. Um. The fact of the matter is. Um. Yeah, do they have hair, hair cuts? Like, they all have different hairstyles. I know that. But is that hair? Like, what, like a Highland would call hair? What we would call hair? Or is that, like, feathers? I think it's feathers in which case would it truly be would they get haircuts or do their feathers just grow that length hmm something to think about also something to talk about which is weird crackpot theories it was not just raining a minute ago alright let's get Terrytown done Looking full. Oh, Kilton's here. Um, I think we can buy some more from Kilton. Got a couple more building spots there. Like each pile of rocks, if you hadn't noticed, is a building spot. Yo, hey, Rito, bring it back. Price on, it'll work right in. 
Next thing is 50 bundles of wood. Yes, I brought them. Sure, you can have them. Some personal. Oh, no way! Cool, dude. It's true. To who? It's Rodson. Who do you think? You're a cute couple. Thank you. You may have to celebrate your priest. Priest like for us? Yes. Um. People, priest like person, I should say, Zora. Alright. Incense Sun. That's like, that's a stupid rule. Anyway, uh, on a side note, um, she actually sells the Hylian, the, the Desert Vaux armor, rather. So that's our next armor set, but I'm not going to buy it from here uh, because I want to actually buy it in uh, the town. So well, you can't actually do that, but it's, it's an interesting little process you have to go through. There's the Korok. Yeah, we're gonna talk to Kilton real quick, actually. See what he's got for sale. Uh, exchange for one. Oh, wait. It's been some, uh... Vinyl Mask. So we got the Lionel Mask. Wait, I don't have the Lizalfos mask. I already showed that off. Alright, so... We need... Quite a bit. Um... 2,000 plus 3... So... 1,300, roughly. I've been selling me these monster parts. Skip 43. This. 239. 53. Let's get 20. I want to keep at least 50 of everything. If I have a surplus. Like, I'm not going to sell any Moblin Horns, but... 46... 6... We're getting closer. Let's go for... What is that? 50... 71? Yeah, that's enough. We will need to uh, get more mon at some point. Because there is one more thing after we beat um, the other Divine Beast. Yeah, the Lionel Mask, too. Goodbye. Alright, so... Let's go and show these off. Do you stand like Lionel? It's like, oh, I'm a Lionel. Do you stand like a Lizalfos? Alright. I, I really do like these masks. They're, they're, like, they're silly. That's what I like about them. Um, we did get all the DLC stuff, didn't we? Huh. Well, almost all of it. Oh, we still have two, not one. Alrighty. Alright, um, actually I should probably put on a hat. So, uh, we got like a minute. Um, hmm. I think to end off, I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, to Hatino. Uh, and buy up all the upgrades on the house. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy up all the upgrades on the house. And then head on, head back over. And then just show off the house, really. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm probably going to cut it. Um, 
till I get all the upgrades. Okay, so I'll see you guys when that happens. Alrighty then, so this is the last little uh, upgrade we have to do. So it's, it's just really annoying to do all these upgrades, like, because you gotta wait for them to do the text boxes and then just go wait for him to completely sit down before he's done. So, anyway, this is the last one. It wasn't construction, what's our credo? If you can't pull the saw, then don't push it. So, yeah, they say a little silly thing after, but uh, before each time they do it, do, um, do an improvement. So, there's all of it. Exterior, anyway. And when you finish, it's like, ah, you housing monster, and everything, ah, such a way with youth driven, even reckless, some might say. Since you brought everything, I threw in some furniture. Yeah, at least I could do. Cars and look like them. I'm with you. Um, it just occurred to me, I didn't finish Terrytown. So I really should finish Terrytown. Well, I'm tuckered. I can swing a ball peen hammer right now, let alone an axe. Break time, baby. Anyway, so, that's that's the end. So you get a uh, uh, sign with your name on it. Uh, flowers and trees planted outside. A door. Yes, I had to pay for the door. Get weapon mounts of every weapon. Um, like three shields, three weapons, and then three... Um, bows. You get lighting is one of them and a bed is another one. A nice little flower. And you can even sleep in your bed. It doesn't give you any bonus hearts but it gives you normal hearts so that's nice. Anyway, so um, I completely forgot about Hudson. So we're gonna do that real quick and then we're gonna end off the episode. Um, after that but yeah, that's just a really, really long process. I think there's there's 14 upgrades to do uh, in it. Um, so the initial 3,000 plus 1,400, 1, that's like, that's 4,400 to do the whole house. Plus 30 wood bundles on top of that. So, if you want to do the house quest, that's what you need. Uh, okay, so for the priest situation, you gotta go up to the upper bit, upper part. Yes, go up to the upper part. And go around here to this red Zora. We haven't been here in a while, by the way. It's been, it's been a hot minute. Talk to him. That was nice. Uh, thank you for joining the Zormate. Wait a minute, your link. Uh, perpetrator force, Calamity Ganon, look at that face, all the lady we see is still remember, yeah, yeah, they hate us. Link, I retired from being priest, ever since I retired, he's more than boring than the last. We need gauge couples, get a load of this. That's for location, hmm, Terrytown and Akala. Isn't too far, you're right there, by yourself? I ah, don't need to worry about me, always had confidence in my fins and my feet. Mm-hmm. Yep, go to Terrytown. There you go. Anyway. So, that's almost the end of Terrytown. Not the, like, the end of the side quest. The from the ground up side quest. Um, not the end of the town. Uh, go to Terrytown. Still can't believe, like, when I get to the end of this game, I still can't believe I've done all, all I have in the game. Like, I don't know, like, man. I mean, there's still a lot for us to do in this game. There's still a lot that this game has to offer, but it's, it's coming close. 
Coming up close on the end. Alrighty. Um. Yeah. Might as well pick up these apples. Oh yeah, and I also, if you hadn't noticed, I did switch into normal clothes. What was that? Maybe I'm just seeing stuff, but I thought I saw like a a exclamation point text box appear. It's like to my right in the middle of the air. I'll have to look at that in post, see if I if that was an actual thing. Um, or if that was a fake thing. Anyway. See you now. Terrytown's all fixed. Got this nice little shrine in the middle. Got also like just a nice little town here. Um to finish it, you gotta go over here to where Hudson is. Hey, Benzora, I think you really talked to you earlier. He's a priest. Captain, no, no objections here. Um, next is, yes, of course, and my guests, yes. Uh, Boss, Bolson, and Carson. Uh, where are they? Uh, yeah, they're in Hitino. The final thing we need to do is go back to Hitino. Like, if we couldn't fast travel in this game, this would be a pain in the butt. Like, I don't even know how you'd do this. <laughs> Sanely. Anyway. So. It's one final, kind of like, hurrah moment. We're gonna marry two peeps. So we gotta go back to our house. Man, I really am armed to the teeth. Like, I don't realize it so much until, like, I see a link head on. Just like a normal... Normal area. It's just like... He is armed to the... Ah, oh, that was some lag. Armed to the teeth. Wait, what? Hudson's getting married. Yes. Okie do. Wedding time, please. Yeah, this will be fun. Okie do. Carson, we're headed out. Finally, we've been waiting for this day. Let's get some sensible weapons on our back. Like, not a two-handed um, claymore. Even that bow looks gnarly. Let's do like a normal bow. Yeah, see, that that looks much more manageable than what I had on. Like, jeez. At least there's no, like, fatigue in this game. Like a lot of games have. Not like physical fatigue. Like, like um, like weight fatigue kind of thing is what I'm talking about. We did a lot in this episode, didn't we? Not a lot, but... It feels like we've done a lot. Got a couple side quests done. That's enough for me. Got my master sword. Got my Hylian shield. Alright, here we go. The last little thing before we're done with this episode and done with Terrytown. It looks really nice, actually. Nice little town. Uh, so yeah, go back to where they are. Uh, Hudson and Carson are over there by that cooking pot. Oh yeah, you have to talk to Hudson, not her. Of course, let's start the ceremony. <coughs> 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 
Ahem. Ahem. Silence, please, everyone. We shall now be good. We are gathered here to, today to join R Hudson and Rodson in matrimonia. Hudson, before the eyes and witnesses of those, uh, and before those of Goddess Hylia, you take Rodson to be, this is, by the way, this is a great wedding attire. I'm not, I'm not gonna read all this, it's just a wedding. I mean, like, look, look, look at Rodson. She's just, she is, this is a weird wedding attire. Like, she has gloves on and, like, a tank top and, like, capris. Those were a traditional wedding, you must say. You see that? Ah, whatever. And there you go. Nice, nice little uh, wedding there. I think what I glanced over is that they said that in in response to in compliance with um, what was it? Hudson, not Hudson. In compliance with Bolson Construction uh, Company, you have to name all your kids' son. I think that's what it was. Anyway. The final little thing. It's you. Are you crying? No, it's just something in my eye. And now Terry Town looks really looks like a real town last. It's for you. He gives us three diamonds, which is really nice. So there you go. Um, before we end off, um, there is one more thing I want to show off, and there are a couple side quests in Terry Town actually, uh, but there's one thing I want to show off in Terry Town, which is this guy here. Hey, I'm Grant, or Grante. Nice to meet you. I'm Grante, a dashing novice researcher. My, my father told me he's the other word. Uh, something like that. Well, the reason he's um, important is he. Oops, I do not want that. He has all the gear. Um, all every piece of DLC and extra gear you can get. Um, he does not however have all the like DLC stuff until you already get them but he does have the rubber stuff which we still don't have yet and he has all the barbarian stuff which uh, we don't have the chest plate yet. But anyway that's why he's important. Um, and actually also I think he gets more stuff the more, um, it's like a natural progression thing, the more, uh, Divine Beast you free, the more stuff he gets. And at one point, you can even buy a Hylian Shield off of him. So he's very useful, because the only way to get a Hylian Shield is, um, the way we got it, which is in the basement of Hyrule Castle. So anyway, on that note, um, we're gonna go and end it off here. So, in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we are gonna go ahead and, um, I don't know. We'll see what side quests we can do around here. Um, maybe. We might have to have something special. Let's, uh, oh, uh, no, we gotta end the episode. So, um, yeah, we're gonna, I don't know. Yeah, we're going to go to Hebra, actually. Yeah, I know what to do. We're going to go to Hebra and explore there. So, I'll see you guys next time. Next time. Stop, stop looking at that old lady, Link. She's not your type. You're looking for Zelda. <laughs>